Hey everybody, I'm here today to share that. Let me type it in right here. I just canceled it out on the screen for those who can see. We're live on Anchor FM, Facebook, YouTube, all that good stuff. Um, we are talking about briefly um, Best Buy. Best Buy has increased its late fee um, for credit card holders. Now, personally, I really hate store credit cards. I hate all credit cards, but store credit cards, I hate. But it was like, I don't know, maybe a year ago where Best Buy got me because they had this, you know, get this percentage back, save this. And I had the cash in hand and I was getting a mini Voltron, aka mini transformer, my car, some, um, some nice little, you know, trinkets that I could add to it. And I got sucked in because I'm like, I have the money. I'll just pay him back right now. Got caught up, right? Dave Ramsey would not be proud. But um, I bought, I bought the, you know, what I needed. I bought a whole bunch of stuff for my car, and um, you know, did did what I like to do to my, to my cars, and got caught up in this. Now I paid that thing off right away, and I never paid any interest. So boom, therefore I won, right? I did win and Best Buy, you know, nothing bad on them. There was no ever any like secret charge or anything like that. Um, I never, I never paid them any extra money and I got a good deal on the stuff that, um, that I got, but they sent me a thing talking about, um, there's a new policy and the new policy increases their late fee. I guess it went from like $25 to $38. I don't know. I've never paid a late fee to Best Buy, right? So I, I can't complain, but they said, if you choose not to, um, agree or do anything, if you want to opt out, your card will be canceled. I called them so smooth, so quick. You know, my calls are all recorded and it was such a smooth transition because it was really automated. And then um, somehow I got to a real person after the card was canceled and they confirmed. So I don't even have to share that with you because everything went smooth. So I'm telling you this to tell you, if you want to cancel your Best Buy card because you're not using it, it's just out there and floating in limbo on your credit card, you know, or in your credit report, opt out and cancel it because I didn't want to pay any more. And, you know, sometimes having the access to the credit will make you think, oh, I need to buy something that I don't even need to buy. And usually for stuff in your cars, you want to buy cash. So I say opt out. Um, you know, why do you need the Best Buy card? you know, always, I didn't need it. I got what I wanted. Um, my car I'm happy with, you know, there's always some things we can do to our cars, but, um, you know, besides it hovering, which Best Buy doesn't do, I'm cool. I'm, I don't need it. And I'm sure they say you can't ever get it again, but I'm sure if I ever need to do something big to any cars, they'll let me open up another account if I ever choose to do that. I don't want to, but the deal was like, it was one of those weekend deals where it wasn't 5%. It wasn't like, you know, it wasn't anything. It was like a good difference where I really won on that transaction. But again, Dave Ramsey would not be proud. And, um, you know, that's the uh, financial guru. So you might want to opt out if you have a Best Buy card. Don't keep all these Best Buy and Kmart cards and everything. You know, um, it's not increasing your credit score the way you think it is. It is increasing your debt the way you think it is. And, you know, that was just my little tip for the Best Buy credit card. But had a good experience with Best Buy. Great experience, no issues, no hidden fees, no hidden anything. You know, um, if Best Buy ever said, hey, you know, we want you guys to, you know, do some awareness for us, some outreach. Um, you know, we would do it. They do good business. But not giving me the choice, if I don't want to opt in, I opt out. I chose to opt out. 
And, you know, there's a lot of credit out there. So Best Buy may want to take notes that, no, I didn't want to, in case I ever did become late on something, pay more money than the original because that's how they really get you. And they expect you not to call the hotline. So know that. They expect you not to call the hotline and you do what you do. But Best Buy, bye-bye. And, you know, any um, any comments on that, please leave them in the description box. It's all good. It's a sunny day in Seattle, so it's against the law to complain. I'm going to make this short and sweet because that's the way it should be. You know, under 10 minutes. Got my point across. No need to ramble on. You guys have a blessed day. Peace. Stay tight.